Tennessee River sure was hard to get across. It is summers before 1800 when I made my first trip along the trace back to the Ohio country. Three weeks out of Natchez I was, and so poor and thin I had to lean up again a sampling to cuss. My forty dollars for wrestling a flat boat load of coal and corn down to New Orleans is back in Natchez under the hill, gone quicker than an alligator can chaw a pup. I weren't traveling in style. And there I stood, looking down a 30-foot bank at a river 500 yards wide, too deep to wade and too swift to swim. It took me a day to find good wood and make a raft, and for near a lifetime to push it across, kicking and splashing and drifting way downstream on the way. Starting about 1800, Old Chief George Colbert made river crossing easy, but dear. I'm the skinny one there, waiting, and my 50 cents is paid. Them fancy fellers on the horses paid a dollar apiece. Their pack horses cost 50 cents to bring across. And if them shoats are going to ride, somebody will have to pay their way. George claims it costs more to operate the ferry than he takes in with half-price rides for post riders and free trips for Indians and all. This is Indian territory, and the ferry and stands all belong to the Chickasaws. Colbert himself is half Indian, half Scott, a chief like his brother Levi. Levi had a stand about two hours south of here, and the two of them had a hand in the ferry, the stands, and some farming, and a sight of palavern with government agents when treaties come and went. There was other brothers around, too. Anyway, some called George a worse robber than the sure enough bandits that made the trace such chancy traveling. But every time I come along one of them ruts you see down in that gully to your left, in sight of the river, I remembered that first crossing and how I felt when I sprawled on that fur bank, choked half to death and shaken like a leaf. So betwixt 1800 and 1819, I parted with my 50 cents without a fight every time I crossed. Listen to them poor souls, whiskey in their budgets and their bellies, and 140 miles of hard times betwixt them and Nashville. <laughs>